Hey dudes, how's it going? Two bottles of soy sauce here. So uh, today we're gonna just uh, some simple cooking with uh, drumsticks here. Um, I never really understood why these look like drumsticks because if you ever watch a drum or drum drums, they don't look like this. And I grew up thinking that chickens were actually used to play music. Just kind of messed up. <laughs> but, uh, well, welcome to this video of just uh, simple cooking some chicken here. All right, so we've got four drumsticks here and um, I'm just gonna marinate these. It should be really quick. Um, I've got like a near empty bottle of sweet soy sauce here. Um, this one isn't really necessary. <clears throat> Just gonna use the rest of it because it's been sitting around for a while and uh, yeah that's that's pretty much it. Now the other thing was like here's just like some regular bottle of soy sauce and um, generally I mean you could just do soy sauce and the chicken but I actually like to add a little bit of sugar which is why I said the sweet soy sauce isn't really necessary so Bit of a splash of like soy sauce there and then like a splash of sugar some sugar in there not very much just a little sprinkle um about like a tiny bit of cornstarch just to make this thick this is just to make things thick later all right so that's that should be enough. A show of white pepper a dash of black pepper and then just uh, just have to mix these now. It's actually really simple. You definitely don't want like a lot of a lot of stuff in this because uh, it's pretty simple, tasty stuff here. Um, I'm also gonna ch probably chop up a carrot to go with this. Uh, maybe this bowl wasn't ideal for mixing this, but um, maybe I should have did this on a plate. Um, but I, j I do want this stirred around in here, so. Maybe I'll just take it for a spin. Take the chicken for a spin here. I, I, this seems to be working. <laughs> it looks like it's working. So, uh, this, this is actually working better than I expected. <laughs> I'll just take the chicken for a spin. Rotate each of these around. And uh, here we are. Okay, and then just take it for a spin as well. Just, uh, oh sh it's stuck. Oh no. Okay. All right, there we go. We just actually want that cornstarch really mixed in there. Otherwise it's going to be unevenly thick on one side and not the other. So, and it smells so good already. <laughs> it didn't even cook it yet. So that's a, no, no, no. It smells pretty good even though I didn't cook it yet. All right. Normally I would just actually rub this with my hands and stuff, but I don't have that today. And then, uh, we, we've got, I, I'm gonna mix this with a bunch of mushrooms too. So this is like the, the mushrooms I just kind of watered overnight. Um, they were like some dried shiitake mushrooms and uh, really just submerge it in water overnight. And then uh, you get that. And there's like these, some kind of weird weed. Um, I, I don't remember what these are. There's some kind of like weird bamboo shoot things that mom just put in there. Um, some cloud fungus or cloud mushrooms. Um, those go well with this, uh, but the shiitake mushrooms I find are very delicious. It just absorbs that flavor when you cook it. And mushroom water, we've got like a Coca-Cola classic cup here that held all that um, mushroom water overnight. Obviously you rinse the dried mushrooms a little bit first and then you soak it. Uh, I don't want to pour all this to the bottom because the bottom has like the really like weird dried bit stuff, but I do want the mushroom water in here. So it'll taste kind of insane. Uh, okay, that's, that's probably more than enough. It's like I'm pouring actual Coke out of this. <laughs> Looks like watered down Coke. <laughs> but later when I cook this, yeah, it, it smells, it smells, uh, I don't know how to describe that. I don't know. It smells, it smells all right. So it's, it's a bit more saucy now. Uh, <laughs> definitely more saucy with, with these four drumsticks. I thought I, I thought I had six drumsticks that I took out to defrost, but whatever. Um, so yeah, just rotate these around. Make sure at least every part of this has touched uh, the sauce. 
Okay, we, we need it to at least have touched the sauce. Where is that ass? Okay, so that's good. Okay, so I'm also going to slash out a carrot here. I don't know why I have half an unused carrot. It's going to make the overall food sweeter because carrots themselves are also sweet. So these chicken drumsticks are actually going to come out probably quite sweet and I am okay with that. <laughs> so, just don't peel this off first. Just make sure I don't peel my own fingers off. <laughs> uh, still need to use these for the rest of my life, you know? Okay. Alright, that's that's good. Um probably want a bit of ginger. Probably want some ginger. Uh, let me just get rid of this first. Okay, so the top of that is gone. And then some ginger. of this ginger in all of this obviously so remove those I should have just actually shape part of the ginger but whatever that's that's fine clean that up later probably want these in little tiny bits I don't actually mind eating the pieces of ginger I don't think everybody would like this so Maybe you want to chuck in the whole chunk. I actually don't mind eating the ginger itself, which is why I cut it into tiny little bits because it's a lot easier to eat than it is to. Uh, it looks like bamboo shoots now. So, so I had, uh, okay. So seems just This is like barely anything in the grand scheme of the whole soy sauce chicken. It's a little bit spicy, it'll actually probably help take away some of that sugar taste. Especially with a carrot like this too. This carrot's gonna definitely be really sweet. Um, I just don't know if I want this in long chunks or if I want this in circular chunks. If I go to it in circular chunks, it'll cook faster and might actually turn out somewhat mushier. If I do it in long chunks, then it might cook It'll cook even faster, but then you can actually pick it. All right, we're going to go with circles today. Everybody loves circles. <laughs> but circles are something you can't take your eyes off of, especially if they're like perfect, but these aren't perfect circles, so. Jesus, this thing's kind of uneven. I, uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'm not risking it. Not risking my fingers for that. Okay, so these are actually quite big. They're gonna put, go in first and they're quite thick too. Everything about today is thick. <laughs> uh, so I don't really need a big pot for all this. I'm just gonna use something like that. And um, I think that's it. This thing can lock the pressure in, I guess, over here. Um, or, I mean, you just probably need something with a lid, obviously, so... <laughs> obviously need some garlic. And just pound it and pound that. Okay, and it's uh, opened just like that. Did I, even, I, don't, I didn't even pound it hard enough. Okay, there we go. That's, that's open for sure now. I can just take your rage out against this thing so you can open these super fast. So make sure that's not in there. All right. Uh, oh, this one's already been broken open. That's nice. So we've got some nice big hunk of garlic here. Oh, this thing's literally splitting up. Oh, okay. All right. So we'll just chuck that in there for now. Uh, let's cut off these ends here. Uh, okay. 
Okay, so sometimes you want to take this root out. I don't always take it out. Sometimes I only do it sometimes because um, it might offer a weird flavor, which I don't know if it's actually true, but whatever. Doesn't take too much effort. Uh, let's cut that. Okay, so this is like a weird center root thingy. There we go. All right, so that's all done. Turn this on. Okay, so the heat is on. We're gonna go with max. Should only take like a few minutes, not too long actually. Uh, so it's it's uh, max over there. Uh, we gotta add this oil. Just a lot of this oil here. Maybe not that much, but enough for the chicken. Grab our chicken here the drumsticks to make some music. Uh, I'm gonna chuck the ginger in right away because <laughs> I always just chuck the ginger in right away. I don't care if it cooks longer. Um, I've got a weird garlic crusher here that I completely forgot I have in my house. I'm gonna crush this straight in there. I'm just, I'm just gonna bam. Okay. Just knife that off. Goes straight in. Very useful. Okay, and just clean this off here. Take these off, put that in. I can't cook this thing on max heat because otherwise I'll start a fire, so. It's happened before, so I've got to turn the heat down like pretty soon. Pretty soon. Just waiting on that garlic to get a little bit brown. I don't want it too brown, otherwise it's gonna start burning, and if it starts burning, then we're in big trouble here. Just want it a little bit brown so it's not looking raw. I'm gonna lose a lot of heat once we put the chicken in. Uh, smells really nice. I should definitely turn on the exhaust, but that's a lot of noise for this. Um, okay, so just these need to cook a long time, so, so the carrots can go in. I think I should have cut them in half because just picking them up with my hands is really, really like it's a really big piece. Poured a little bit of that chicken sauce in there just to get this going. All right, so make sure this is really stirred around. I don't want it on too high of a heat, otherwise it's going to start burning. So I've already turned the heat down like quite a bit, and the chicken's going to slow cook it. Um, some of them are actually kind of thick, so I might actually slice it open a little bit, but I'm not too sure. Considering I think this is, I'm going to be cooking this for like, I'm going to like slow cook this like over like a course of. 20, 30 minutes, I guess, not really on super high heat. If it was higher heat, I would drop it in there, but. All right, since these are quite thick, I'm gonna put this in now. These need to be on, the chickens need to be at the bottom. The carrots can go wherever they want, it doesn't really matter. Got this last one here. Make some space. Make some space for the chicken. Okay, there we go. All four pieces are touching the bottom, and we add the rest of this. Okay, and we'll add more of that in a bit because it's very cold now. And I'm gonna turn back up the heat because it's barely even doing anything now. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, I'm gonna add some shiitake in there. Because I have a lot of shrooms. Put these in. Oh, these are also really cold, so. God, that's a lot. What the hell? Alright, just cover it up then, fine. I don't I don't know why. There's so much compared to the compared to the drumsticks. It's actually kinda weird. Alright, so we've got like our cloud fungus here. This actually needs to go to the bottom. It'll go to the bottom later. And then uh, since we added this little just on top, just pour some of this so it can actually like sustain some of that sauce that we just did. Okay. Uh, so it's been about like two minutes. All right, we're just gonna close this. And turn the heat to six. It's been about three minutes and I'm just gonna check this. Uh, I need to make sure this moves around just because chicken is still red around the bone areas so this obviously needs to move make sure it's not stuck at the bottom probably need to rotate it Ugh. make sure this garlic's not stuck on my my lifter thing I don't even know what this thing is called all right so that's still pink obviously I'm gonna rotate this one around that's one there's four of them rotate this one around needs to get in the sauce and we rotate this one spin a room oh oh no wait why is this one so hard to turn oh come the hell on it's not okay we've got that one and we're gonna get that last one this one here turn this one around All right, looks good. Oh no, part of that skin was stuck to the bottom. So it's got this kind of golden-y look to it. I mean, it looks pretty good. So, um, yeah, this should turn out pretty good, actually. Um, I'm just not sure about the amount of cloud fungus and cloud mushrooms I put in here. Seems a lot, and I feel like the wateriness of it will take away from the taste. So I'm not so sure about that. Mushrooms are perfectly fine. And close this back up. Uh, we'll be back in about like what five minutes. All right, guys. So it's been uh, five more minutes, and uh, we'll just have a look here. Before, make sure I don't steam burn myself. Okay. Looks good. Smells good. How are these carrots? These carrots are still really solid. Jesus Christ! Should have cut them in half. Whoops. <laughs> Alright, so, let's see if we can rotate all this to the bottom. I want to rotate the fungus to the bottom and get the chicken to the top now. Chicken's pretty much done, I don't see any more pinkness. It might actually be kind of pink towards the center, but I see some of the meat kind of already kind of coming off the bones. Just want to make sure this is all on the top now. The sauce is at the bottom is kind of like drying up. There's not really even much of a sauce left. All right, so I'll turn this to low heat. And uh, yeah, so just a very, very low heat. And we're pretty much done in like the next five, 10 minutes. Or actually I'll just, I might even just turn off the heat and just cover it. Let the steam do the work. So I've turned off the heat and uh, we're complete for the taste test. Almost burned my face there. Alright guys, time for the taste test. So I'm gonna try this out. Pretty sure, oh. Mmm, smells good. Alright, let's just try a bit of this fungus here. Mix it into just some plain rice. Oh, my mouth is watering. <laughs> Mushroom, and grab one of these drumsticks. It's actually a little bit overdone, whoops. Carrots are nice and soft. That sauce is looking good. Sauce is looking really good. All right, uh, I'm gonna get a spoon for this. Some of this sauce. Oh. Oh. Put 
that into the rice. So it's all perfect, not too sweet, and um, just right actually. Mm. Just try the chicken. Mm. Nope, chicken was cooked perfectly. Um, it's not overdone at all actually. Middle's just actually like uh, just finished. It's actually just slightly pink near the bone. Mm. Things that could have done better. Um, this chicken could have been marinated for a bit longer. Uh, probably should have drowned it in that sauce for a few hours rather than just the beginning of uh, the video here. So. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you all later. Bye bye for now. Peace. Thanks so much for watching.